to Crumley Mega Market, Crumley Fishmongers. We sell some of the fish you recognize, nice. and some you don't. Oh, gross. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio.
word to the editors of our esteemed local newspaper in regard to the recent headline which read, Local Radio DJ is a Total Pendant. In the parlance of today's youth, I do not think that means what you think it means. The word you were looking for was pedant. This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. And I know you've missed me just as much as I've missed you. So don't move that dial.
I got handed a leaflet about the Orb Foundation one morning last week. What an absolutely lovely bunch of people, I thought to myself, and not at all like a cult. You'll never guess what happened next. Anything deposited in a bin is now hospital property. No rummaging. And now the news. A gang of thieves is terrorizing the county with over a dozen break-ins reported in the past month. Police say the criminals are mostly interested in used cheap plastic pens. So, if you're ever looking for a pen and can't find one, you may be one of the unfortunate victims.
The world-renowned Cirque du Parfait is no longer under investigation. So come experience the magic, wonder and terror of our glass-boned acrobats ah, ah. and face-eating clowns. <laughs> it's a parfait day at the circus for everyone. More Two Point, more often. This is Two Point Radio. Please prepare 
I was telling you about the mysterious Orb Foundation. Well, after being handed a leaflet, I was approached by one of its senior members. I, of course, told them I was very interested in joining their secretive and bizarre organization, and an interview was set up for the very next day. And I'll tell you about it later. We have a VIP visiting the hospital. There's an article in the Daily Sneer today accusing Bongle Tech of toying with nature and of employing far more mad scientists than the national average. Well, I for one think it's about time mad scientists had some place they can call home.
That delightful Jasmine Odyssey isn't just a pop singing sensation, she's also quite the humanitarian. Why, only this morning, she was visiting some of our local hospitals. She insisted on singing a song or two, even when the patients begged her not to. What an angel! Oh, oh.
potentially fatal treatment rather than after. To continue my tale about the Orb Foundation, I'm pleased to say my interview went very well indeed. I was booked in for my indoctrination, where I would finally learn all about the greatness of the Orb and get my own set of robes. But then came an unexpected twist. Stay tuned to find out what it was.
trouble making ends meet. <laughs> Need some extra dough? Call Smell My Cash. Because an 80% interest repayment rate is nothing to sniff at. Smell My Cash. Ah. The desperate solution. More two point. More often. This is Two Point Radio. Thomas Starkers has contributed today's inspirational quote. There's nothing you can't do with sufficient determination except make yourself invisible. That requires magic or some kind of super futuristic technology. You're probably right, Thomas. You're probably right.
Alas, my Orb Foundation adventure did not have a happy ending, and you'll never guess why. They kicked me out for being too negative a person. Who would have thought it? Took away my robes and everything. Oh well, life goes on as they say. And so does our radio show. of reason. I'm supposed to tell you we have a great show for you today, but how do I know? We haven't made it yet.
Belly of Two Point County. As an example, last night I saw what looked like a zombie squirrel in a tree by my house. To do call if you've experienced your own paranormal encounter. A fear shared is a fear half. to Crumley Mega Market, Crumley Fishmongers. We sell some of the fish you recognize, nice. and some you don't. 
Oh, gross. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio. Alcove, who works nights at the Crockle Bay branch of Roach Burgers, has called in to tell us about his recent spooky experiences. Scratchy sounds behind the walls, burger buns walking across the floor, and an unearthly smell are just some of the phenomena he's seen. And nothing to do with the fast food joint standards of hygiene, I'm sure. Training course completed.
the show and fellow paranormal enthusiast Brian Cabbage says he has proof of large mutant lizards living in the meltdowns. Hey, sounds plausible to me. Not so sure about the lasers shooting out of their eyes though, Brian. Students at the medical school called in earlier to say their campus may be the most haunted place in the county. They report seeing classroom skeletons dancing, strange colors floating in the air, and walls seeming to melt. Let's just remember these are medical students with access to some very interesting substances.
fire in the hospital for you all to know. Roachburger's first drive-through has opened in Crockle Bay. Now you can order your extra crunchy burgers without leaving the comfort of your car. And remember, order more than 10 Roach Burgers and get a free road shake. Roach, Roach Burgers! 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio. Time to panic, folks. A strange object has been hovering over Duckworth upon Bilge. UFO enthusiasts are flocking to the scene, though there's a good chance it's just a noxious cloud of gas spewed by the local factories. Anyway, I still say it's time to panic.
Doctor to Mega Scan, please. Penelope Stuffage, the strict librarian of the Lower Bullocks County Library, has raised some eyebrows after claiming the building is haunted. According to Miss Stuffage, the ghost of her predecessor comes in every night and reclassifies books by an outdated system. Spooky stuff indeed.
It's time to apply the nourishing balm that is my voice on all your cultural wounds. Yes, Sir Nigel Bickleworth here, welcoming you to another great show on Two Point Radio.
yesterday, arriving today. Today we begin a new segment in which we shall explore the history of Two Point County and its many landmarks. We open with one of our most famous sites, Grogbin's Ring. Grogbin, as you may know, was a giant said to live in this region in ancient times. As for his use of the stones themselves, we can only speculate. I like to think they were his croquet hoops. Psychiatry. 
Don't put your health in the hands of a quack. Come to Bungle Meditech, where advanced techniques and experimental treatments could make you live forever. Bungle Meditech. Other hospitals offer leeches. Ours will leave you speechless. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio. of attending classical concerts, you may want to listen to today's guide to good manners. Do not applaud until those who know better than you are applauding. Do not sit in front of me if you have a large head. And if you must cough, it had better be a death rattle or we shall have words. Incidentally, this also applies to plays. Thank you. 
We continue our series of the history of Two Point County with the oldest farm in the region, Merry Dunn. Not named, as many people suppose, after the droppings of its livestock, the farm was founded by one Edmund Merry Dunn. He was so suited to his profession, he was said to have Dunn running through his veins. I sincerely hope that it was just a colorful piece of imagery. End of year approaching.
listening to Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. I have received the latest lyrical opus by obscure local poet Tobias Dirge, who had the audacity to submit it for my Sir Nigel review segment. Well, Mr. Dirge, I would urge that you purge our county of this execrable volume. Rhyming is not a right, it's a privilege. The hospital may well be haunted. Every day, hundreds of Pointians have their life force drained by corners they're not aware of. <laughs> Smooth yourself over by checking into an orb wellness center. Soak in the power of the orb. The orb is the perfect shape and the perfect solution. More Two Point, more often. This is Two Point Radio. Thank you. 
In this edition of the History of Two Point County, we are looking at One-Eyed Wallace, the delightful old lighthouse in Hogsport. It is named, as many of you will know, after Wallace Tugbottom, the region's first lighthouse keeper. What you may not know is that he lost his left eye in a high-stakes game of snap. A bit of a sticky wicket this morning. Some damn fool put his jam sarnie on it. As you can imagine, the game's been caught off. And that's the end of my sport roundup.
No account of the history of our county could be complete without including the Underlook Hotel, sitting in the shadow of the Pointy Mountains and famed for its salacious past and present ghost sightings. It is hardly any wonder, given that the building was constructed over an ancient Morris dancer's burial ground. You have been warned. Burger's first drive-thru has opened in Grockle Bay. Now you can order your extra crunchy burgers without leaving the comfort of your car. And remember, order more than 10 Roach Burgers and get a free road shake. Roach, Roach Burgers! 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio.
Into Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Are you ready for bland music and banal banter? Then you're in luck because I'm Ricky Hawthorne and you're listening to Two Point Radio.
We're in the mood for romance here on Two Point Radio. So if you have a request you'd like to dedicate to your significant other, well, perhaps you should call them something nicer than significant other. But also, tell us how you met and what song you'd like us to play. Mildred Shears has called in to request the next song for her husband, Clarence. They met seven years ago on a cruise ship that sailed from Hogsport and landed at Crockle Bay 40 minutes later. Plenty of time for love to blossom, as well as dysentery. Mm. 